Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spinning Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to actually look at something that makes me feel really good about my show and my channel. Um, and then the support you guys all give me is, is credibility. Um, you know, a couple days ago I talked about the rumor. I didn't want to. I really try not to make videos about rumors on this channel. Uh, like I said, sometimes I'll pull things from like IMDb and stuff like that, but I always preface it with like, hey, this is IMDb. It's not a super reliable source. I think it's more reliable than some websites are, and this is the case why. Um, and I know that like Bob and a couple other people comment, they only pull things from like Variety and stuff like that. I, I like to do that too, obviously, um, but even those guys get things wrong. Even I'll get things wrong. Everyone's human. Uh, but at the end of the day, really, most of the websites that shared this, like comicbook.com and some of these other websites that shared this information, um, uh, web, movie web or whatever it was called, like they are, they are what's wrong with uh, reporting stuff in, you know, online, uh, in my opinion. Uh, they are rarely right about things. Everything that's clickbaity that is just things that will just fuel fire and get people yelling at each other. Uh, they just love sharing that stuff. Obviously they're out there to get hits and that works every time, uh, but that's fine. They can get all the hits they want, but they're not going to get, they're not going to gain any credibility. Uh, they're not going to have any integrity ever um, unless they learn to change. And uh, I like this post that Tom Hardy put out there because it makes me feel better about putting just five or 10 minutes of research into something before I report about it. Uh, and then, you know, and I have made mistakes before, um, like the, the thing with uh, Tom Hardy's dog being named Woody. I thought the, this where he went out in the woods and he was taking pictures of this is where I met Woody. I thought he was referring to Woody Harrelson. I acted, I didn't know he had a dog at one point named Woody that passed away. So luckily you guys were able to tell me that and I took the video down. I was like, hey, out of respect uh, for getting, you know, for, for Tom and, and you know, losing a, a puppy, which I am a dog owner myself. So I understand what that would feel like and how horrible that would feel like. So out of respect for his feelings, I took that down. And also because I got something wrong and I made a video and kept it up about being wrong about that. And that's what it is. When you make a mistake, you, you come clean. And a lot of these websites, they don't. They just move on to the next thing. You know, Jeremy Conrad is not going to post uh, anything about saying like, hey, sorry for you know spreading this and it getting out there with other websites. I didn't expect that to happen. And it got a lot of people saying, you know, horrible things about, um, you know, this movie, you know, based on false information. You know, if you, if you have real information and you want to say horrible things about the movie, that's fine. It's your opinion. But based on false information. And of course, he's not going to, you know, post a retraction or anything like that because he doesn't care. And most of these people out there, they don't care. Uh, they have no integrity. They don't care about their credibility. Uh, they just, you know, consume, 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 spread, 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 and then move on to the next thing. And, uh, and that's where I try to be a little bit different. And this post from Tom Hardy made me feel really good. So here's the picture he posted for, uh, it's like an image that says face eater, but he says, you know, in kind of in regards to venom, just saying venom suit, uh, dash myths, usually asinine circulate about things usually by those who have failed to garner credible intel. So again, just basic, and said really well, I wish there was some punctuation in there, to, you know, for me, so I didn't have to read that 10 times to say it properly. Uh, but he's right. Uh, at the end of the day, there are people out there that just, uh, you know, aren't ga garnering credible intel. They're just going, they're regurgitating things they see online or regurgitating what they heard from random things. And then they say those are sources. And that what, that's what drives me so uh, crazy about this is that they'll go like, oh, someone in 4chan said this. So my source says, and it's like, you have no source. Stop living in a fake bubble. We just watched that the movie, The Truth in Journalism, the, the, the short film about Eddie Brock and how he lies to try to forge the truth. And that's what all these people, a lot of them do. They just try to forge the truth and they, they and it comes from no place of actual truth. They just try to twist things and, and, and uh, manipulate things or they're not even that smart to do that. They just regurgitate it and then they just get it out there and they get people talking and, but everyone's yelling and fighting over uh, stupid things in the comments off false information. It's one thing if a movie comes out and someone says, hey, I don't like it. And this person's like, I do like it. And they're fighting over that. It's like, hey, okay, they're, they're sharing their opinions, they're fighting, maybe it's constructive, maybe it's not, but that's fine at that point because you're both, you know, both saw the final product. Right now, everyone's yelling at each other and slamming Sony and, and Tom Hardy and, and Ruben Fleischer and Ar Avi Arad and all these people, um, you know, slamming them for making a mistake that they haven't made uh, as far as we know. Like, and then now Tom Hardy says, like, no, it's, it's not true. And you guys out there that don't have credible sources, uh, stop reporting on stories, you know, and I agree a full, you know, wholeheartedly. So uh, this made me feel good seeing this today. And I, a couple of you guys did write me about it, but I had already seen it. I followed Tom Hardy and I saw this posted. So um, yeah, I was, I was like, yes, this is awesome. 
uh, you know, he came out and said something, and it's good because a lot of times these rumors and these things get out of control in these studios because they're trying to play things so close to this. They don't just come out and squash them, and they're just like, yeah, let just let people talk about it. And it's like, no, just some of these get out of control, and uh, and and they change perception. And now there's a bunch of people out there who think this movie is not going to have a lot of venom in it, and they're going in with this preconceived notion that it's going to suck because there's not going to be any venom in it. And sure, there's not going to be a ton of venom, obviously. Like, uh, and I think Bob or someone pointed out, like, oh, what you know, Wolfman, it's mostly the guy, not the Wolfman. And, you know, uh, you know, Spider-Man, mostly in Spider-Man movies, it's Peter Parker, not Spider-Man. It's like, yes, nobody out there thinks there's going to be more venom in this movie than Eddie Brock. Nobody's stupid like that. Uh, so no one's going to think that already. Uh, but we don't want people thinking there's only 10 minutes of venom in the movie if there is more than that. You know, uh, if there is only 10 minutes of venom, they'll say that and they'll, you know, they'll, they'll try to you know, keep people's expectations. Like, that's the biggest thing. I talked about that ever since this show started is I'm trying not to derail our expectations. I'm trying to report on things that just are. So that way you have, you're in the best mindset to go into this movie. That's what I've deemed my job as a, you know, as the host of this show is to try to keep things level. So that way you go into this movie without too high expectations, too low expectations. Uh, you're just going in expecting what we're probably going to get delivered so that way you're just content you're happy with it you're like hey this is great uh, and then it may still exceed expectations because obviously before we go in this movie we're not going to know everything uh, so there's still room for the movie to surprise us and to make us you know happy uh, with the product overall or you know bum us out if we're not into it so you know th that's just it's good to see this though from tom and to see you know him basically tell people hey you're not a credible source, uh, you know, and that's just the end of the line there. And I feel the same way, and, and that's why I try my best not to cover this kind of stuff on here. But if things get out of control like that again, and you guys want me to talk about it, I will, and I'll do my best to report truthfully and try to re and squash things uh, that I think I can squash. And this one, this was a, one of those rumors that I knew enough about to where I felt like I could squash it. And it's good to see Tom come out and back people up that were squashing it. Although when I looked online, it looked like I was the only person reporting the opposite of what everyone else was reporting. And that too also makes me feel good. Um, so I thank you guys for sharing that video because normally my videos hit like 50 to 100 views average on average now. They started at like five to 10 views. And thanks to you guys getting us so many subscribers subscribers like we're at you know 50 to 100 views but that video about the rumor went over 400 views I think over 450 and that's thanks to you guys sharing it and letting people know the truth about this movie so thank you for doing that I really appreciate it and next week you know I'm you know I've been talking about the comic books and stuff lately uh, we just did separation anxiety in the last episode we're going to talk about the end cam technology probably in our next episode. So be on the lookout for that. And then next week, we're going to do three episodes, probably Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, we're going to do episodes based on current Venom comics uh, that have come out in the past year to lead up to Venomized, which is a new miniseries that starts the first week of April, and it's a weekly series coming out every week in April. So uh, so to gear us up for that, and every issue that comes out, I'm gonna give out the digital code that week of that issue for free to you guys, and I'm also gonna review that individual issue. Uh, but so what we're gonna do next week, next Monday, expect a video on this, Edge of Venomverse. This is a, kind of the prequel start of this trilogy that Colin Bunn ends up writing. I think he writes one of the stories in this, but this is mostly short stories written by other writers. And it's different dimensional characters like Wolverine and another dimension, Iron Man, all getting their own symbiotes. And then them all coming together in one universe to fight a new enemy called the Poisons. So this is like the setup to it. So we'll talk about that next Monday. Next Wednesday, we'll do Venomverse, which is the main series. Iban Coella did the art. He's drawing Venomized coming up. I can't wait to share some of his artwork with you guys if you haven't already seen it on my channel. This guy's amazing. I love his stuff. Colin Bunn wrote this. This is kind of part one of his uh, official trilogy with Edge of Venomverse as like the setup and prequel to it. Uh, and then next Friday, we're going to talk about Poison X, which isn't in trade paperback yet, but we have all the issues here. And it's the X-Men teaming up with Venom and going into space and coming across the Poisons who have now entered our universe. After the ending of Venomverse, now they've left that universe behind and are coming to the Marvel Universe. And this is that setup. And that's what Venomized will be about. It'll be about Venom and all the Marvel superheroes with Venom symbiotes fighting against the Poisons. So that's going to be really cool. I can't wait for that. So next week, that's what we're going to do on this channel. Those will be the three main episodes episodes we do and if any movie news pops up we'll cover those as well and then next week i'll also give you the new uh, second episode of spawn second episode of uh 
uh, the Seven Dust episode series that I'm doing uh, for you music fans out there. And then I'll also do Damnation video next week as well. I'm going to cover a lot of stuff uh, next week because uh, I'm, I'm still waiting on stuff for my book to be done. And some of it's out of my hands right now and it's taking forever, but that's fine. I'm trying not to be like a, you know, a, you know, be too forceful about it. Uh, and, and, you know, the people who are working on it and helping me with it are, are, you know, using their time. And, uh, and so I want, I want to make sure it's used wisely and they, and they, they're very thorough about everything. So I have some free time on my hands, so I'm going to pump out a bunch of videos for you guys. And then, uh, we'll probably do some more carnage stuff coming up in the future. And then also the Marvel versus DC stuff as well. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you stay tuned and thank you again for the support and for, uh, you know, trusting me to give you guys the best information that I can give you. And I will continue to do that on this show for sure. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.